Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. Today's video is going to be all about my favorite and least favorite products from certain brands. So I picked four very popular brands and I wanted to share with you what I love the most and the least from them. Now a subscriber left a similar video recommendation on my community tab a while ago. I asked you guys, I want to say it was in March, I asked you to leave me any you can hear my cats in the background. What is new? Welcome to my channel. But um, I asked you guys what you wanted to see for upcoming videos and a subscriber named Katie left a lot of really great requests for me and one of them was similar to this. She kind of wanted to hear the best and worst from different brands so I was like, you know what? What if I do just one video and I talk about number one favorite and number one least favorite? So. That's what we will be doing today. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I have an exciting announcement for those of you who are not new or any who is new, whatever it is. I usually, right now in the video, I mention my upload schedule, which previously was four days a week, Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But for the month of May, it's May now, oh my gosh. For the month of May, I am switching my upload schedule up a little bit. The last few months I was extremely busy, so four days a week was the most that I could do, but now that my schedule has a little bit more flexibility in it, I'm going to challenge myself over the next month to upload five days a week, so you guys will now be getting a video from me every single weekday, Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. Eastern. So, with that long introduction behind us, I'm like so excited to film this video. I'm using my hands a lot, I need to bring it down. With that long introduction behind us, let's go ahead and hop into the video. So the way that I picked the four brands that I'm mentioning in this video is I went through my collection and tried to see which brands I felt like I owned a lot from their line and I'd been able to test out quite a few products. So I didn't want to pick a brand where I'd only tried two, three, four products. I wanted to pick something that I had a good, good wide range of knowledge of. So that's how I selected these and these four are actually probably my four favorite brands. Uh, there's a couple other brands that I also really love but these are some of my favorites. So. Even on the products that are my least favorite, for some of these, one brand in particular, even my least favorite product I still think is pretty good. So I want to throw that out there. The first one to discuss is the most affordable. It is ColourPop. So my least favorite product that I've ever tried from ColourPop, their brow pencil. And I'm trying to read what shade I have, but it's very much worn off. I, I can't even read it. <laughs> this is what the swatch looks like, and I want to say the color was just called Blonde. But my problem with this brow pencil is that I find it to be a little bit too creamy. And some people actually really enjoy creamy brow pencils, so if that's you, this might be one to check out. It is only $6. But I find that when I use this, my brows get out of hand so quickly because I don't have as much control because I apply so much product at once because it is so smooth and it glides on. So. If that's your preference, you might love this, but for me, it was my least favorite product I've ever tried from ColourPop. I've had this for probably two years. I've had this pencil for probably two years, and I typically go through a brow pencil every one or two months, so that's saying a lot. I'm actually planning on putting this probably in a project pan in the future so I can finish it off. And my favorite from ColourPop, no surprise, their pressed powder shadows. I actually just placed an order for a few more of these. I ordered them just yesterday, so it's going to be a little while before they get to me. But I have a full video in on my channel, which I'll leave linked down below, where I swatch all of the colors that I own. I love this formula. Not only do I love the pressed powder shadows, but I also... Blue, you're being so rude. Not only do I love the pressed powder shadows, but I also love the palettes. They are the same formula. I own the Yes Please, and I have played with a few of the others as well, so highly recommend. Next, I want to talk about Anastasia Beverly Hills. So, the my least favorite product that I've ever tried from Anastasia, I actually do not own anymore because I returned it, and to this day, it's the only makeup item I have ever returned. So this product was actually what... Uh, the reason that I stopped filming first impressions on foundations and mostly first impressions in general because when I first used this and I filmed a video on it, I thought that I loved it. It looked beautiful on my skin, but the more that I was able to test it out, the more that I realized I do not like the way that it wears. I just feel like throughout the day, it would really start to break up on me. I would get very shiny and I'm not a super oily person and even though that is a matte foundation, it would make my skin very oily and it just did not work for me so to this day that is the only product i've ever returned but that's my least favorite from anastasia okay now my favorite was really difficult so i grabbed quite a few because i was like okay wait a minute 
I love the Anastasia lip glosses. Are these my favorite? But then I thought, no. They're just lip glosses, and I have other lip glosses that I really like, so then I was like, okay, Modern Renaissance, that seems like the clear choice, but I was like, you know what? They have something that I prefer even over Modern Renaissance, and that's the glow kit. So I have the Sun Dipped Glow Kit. This is currently in my project pan, and I just hit pan on the shade Summer right here. I'm wearing this today, but I'm also wearing Fenty Hustla Baby, but this is my favorite formula of highlighters. They're the creamiest, they're the most intense, and you can layer these up to be very blinding, but you can also go on with a very light hand and have something very natural and subtle. Not, not at all what I have today. I have quite a powerful highlight on today, but this is my number one favorite product from Anastasia. All right, now let's talk about Becca. So my least favorite, this isn't actually a terrible product. If... It's not that bad. It's my least favorite out of everything I've tried from Becca because I pretty much love everything that I've tried from Becca. But this is the one that was just eh, kind of okay for me. It's the Velvet Blurring Primer. So I have this in my current Flashback Friday and the update for that video will be on Friday. So you might hear me mention this again. But after really forcing myself to use it for the past month, I'm not obsessed with it. And the purpose of this product, it's very smoothing. It's supposed to be blurring for your pores and it gives you a really nice slick surface to put your foundation on top of but my issue with this is that if you put on a lot and you don't work quick enough it really does pill up so I kind of have to work in small sections and I can't rub it in like a regular primer I have to just like slide it over my face and you have to do it in such a specific way so it does not pill up and just ball off your face and I like this because it's smooth and it really gives you a nice surface to glide foundation on top of. So when I have foundations that are a little bit harder to work with, like the Becca Ultimate or Com Complete Coverage Foundation, is that what that's called? That foundation is really hard to blend out for me, but when I blend it out on top of this, it's a lot easier for me. And actually, my cats are just not, they don't want me to film this video right now. If you guys see everything shaking and the camera moved over to here, it's because Tilly's rubbing up against it. Anyways, so this is okay. And actually, now that I mentioned the foundation, that might be my other least favorite product from Becca. Either one of those. The foundation's not bad, but it's hard to blend and it is really heavy on the skin. So. Either of those my least favorite, neither of them are terrible in my opinion, but compared to all the other products I've tried from Becca, they're not my favorite. Now for my favorite product. I struggled, where'd I put it? So now with my favorite product, I struggled again just like Anastasia because there were a few that I could have picked and I was close to picking the First Light Priming Filter which is the purple one. I'm wearing this today. I actually am wearing both of these today. I have First Light on my cheeks. And then I have the blurring primer on my forehead, nose, and my chin. But what I like even more than that is this bronzer. So this is the Bali Sands bronzer. I mention it so often that I don't want to go too into depth about it. But if you are new to my channel, this is my favorite bronzer. I want to pick up more shades of it. I also want to get Capri Coast. And I have a serious dip in this already, which is pretty impressive because I'm currently working on panning another bronzer, so I'm putting a lot of my focus into my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil, but I still find myself reaching for this so often. It's creamy, it's smooth, I love it. And now the final brand that I want to discuss is Urban Decay. So my least favorite, you heard me mention in my empties video recently, I do not like the Perversion Mascara. In my empties video, I had just finished up the Troublemaker, and that's not my favorite mascara either. So overall, I'm just going to categorize Urban Decay mascaras as my least favorite from the brand. They just don't do much for my lashes. But when it came to my favorite product, I struggled again and I thought to myself, first I really thought I was going to pick this blush. It is my number one favorite blush. I'm wearing it today. It's in my project pan. I have major dip on this, like the most dip that I have in any blush in my collection. This is the shade Indecent if you are my skin tone. It is so beautiful. This is one of the few blushes that I feel like I can just layer up and put on so much and it does not look crazy. I don't look like a clown. It's beautiful. It makes my bronzer look better, it makes everything look blended better, it warms up my skin tone, it's perfect. But I was like, okay, wait a minute. 
I have other bronze or blushes that I love and this is kind of similar to my Too Faced I Will Always Love You blush which is another really pretty peach one and I was thinking okay you know what is probably even more special to me even more special to me it might, I like even more these these are the vice lipsticks so I grabbed just two to show you guys I have the shades this is stark naked you hear me talk about it all the time I'm actually wearing one of these today I'm wearing just regular naked it's not called regular naked it's just called naked but this one right here is stark naked and then this one is one of my favorites in the fall time it's the shade rock steady so this one is a cream it has a little bit more sheen to it whereas this one is a comfort matte so it doesn't have any sheen to it really but it's so comfortable and I actually just picked up one of the let me grab it I actually just picked up one of the milk makeup lip colors and these are supposed to be very matte as well and the shade that I got was cream if you're like Kelly that's so tiny that's because I bought a mini because I have enough lip products but when I got this and I applied it knowing that it was a matte bullet lipstick I wanted or I thought it was gonna be like the comfort mattes from Urban Decay but as I was gliding it on my lips I felt like it was tugging and pulling and it just they felt a little bit dry don't get me wrong still comfortable still enjoy the formula but as I was applying it I was like this is good but I like the Urban Decay Vice lipstick formula so much more that that solidified it for me I was like you know what that's my number one favorite if you guys are wondering I will swatch this you can see it the shade is called cream it is actually pretty similar to Stark Naked. This, I want to say it was $12 at Sephora. The only thing about the minis is they only have two or three shades available in this, so you can't get just any color in a mini, but there's a lot of product in here. This is 0.04 ounces, so not a lot, but for a product like this, you won't use it up quickly. So that's going to go ahead and complete this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I might do like a follow-up or a second one of these in the future if you guys are interested. If you like this, maybe I will talk about a few more brands. Let me know which ones you would like me to feature if I do a second video. If you guys enjoyed this, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. So sorry about my cats. They're usually, they always make some sort of an appearance in my videos. But today they were very loud, very noisy. So I hope that it didn't bother you guys too much. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you and actually I'll see you tomorrow now that I'm uploading Monday through Friday. So see you guys tomorrow at 9 a.m. Eastern. Bye. Actually the reason I stopped, you guys.